is going to be on the garden shovel. The garden shovel that I have shown here uses black, brown, and silver tinted or jelly type of bands. Today's lesson, I'm going to be using black, yellow, and gray. So for the black, we're going to need seven. For the stem color or the post color, we're going to need 21, which I'm using yellow. And for the bottom part of the shovel, you'll need around 30. So gather your supplies. We do need a few extra things. We need a piece of 16 gauge wire or a wooden toothpick that you need to support the back of your um, creation in the handle because the rubber bands just aren't strong enough to hold the handle up um, as straight as I would like it. Some other items that go along with our shovel and the garden theme, we have the garden rake, which is another video that I have on my channel, and the garden hoe, the rake, and the hoe. These are going to look really cute in Loomville in the garden area. For those of you that haven't heard, I'm actually building a little town or community out of all rubber bands. So I hope you will continue to watch as Loomville grows. But let's get started today with our shovel. Our loom is going to be set in its standard offset configuration with the arrows pointing towards our body. It's just the way I feel more comfortable to work. So you want to make sure that your arrow is pointing towards your body. We're going to begin by placing a single band over the center peg on the outside edge. And this is a black band and I call this my dangle band. It's actually going to be the band that we use to secure off the whole project at the very end when we finish off the project. You want to take your hook and a single black band and you want to wrap it around your hook three times. There's my number one, there's my number two, and there's my number three. You just want to make sure that you have got three bands on your loom, or what looks like three bands on your hook, I'm sorry, on your hook. And we want to take two black bands and we're going to pull that set of three that we just did onto those two black bands. Then we're going to place it on our loom, center peg one to center peg two. And be sure just to push the little black piece up closer towards the top peg. We need to do that again with the black. So there's number one, there's number two, and there's number three. I have three bands or a single band twisted on my hook three times. Two bands and pull that three over. And then we're going to set this on our loom. This is creating the back of the handle where it makes it really easy just to slide in the wire piece at the end. Now we need to do this down the loom seven more times, switching over to your handle color, whatever color you wanted your handle to be. Today I'm using yellow. So once again, there's one, two, three, with a single band twisted on my hook three times, two bands, pulled through, and then I'm just going to place that on my loom, coming straight down the center section. One, two, three, that's a single band twisted three times, pull through two yellows, and place that on my loom. Again with the yellow, one, two, three, two bands pulled through, if I'm going too fast, you can stop and do this at your own pace or fast forward if I'm not going fast enough for you, but we do need seven to come straight down the loom. One, two, three, two bands pulled through and place on the loom. Whoops, and I didn't get mine on the whole time that time. There we go. Here we go again, one, two, three, two bands pulled through, and place on your loom. Again, one, two, three, two bands pulled through, and place on our loom. And my last time, one, two, three, two bands pulled through, and place on my loom. 
So here we have got our two black and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven done the same way with the yellow. And that is going to be our handle. For the next part of our handle, we're doing a joint right here, which is going to be very simple. Two gray bands or your silver, whichever color you decided, right down that center peg. Now we're working on the flat portion of the shovel and then we'll build these two little pieces for the outside edges in a moment. For the flat portion of the shovel, you're going to take two bands and this is going to be a awkward movement for some of you, but we're taking two bands and we're going to go from the center peg up to the right, up to the right peg, center peg and up one right peg. That was with two bands. We're going to do the same thing on the left side, center peg and up to the left. Let me show you guys what that looks like. Here is my gray band in the center and then two bands going from center up to right and two bands going from center up to left. Take two additional bands and we're going to come down the left side once two additional bands and we're going to come down the left side twice a second time two additional bands and we're going to go from left down to center on the right side we need to do the same thing two bands on the right two bands on the right and two bands going from right to center Two bands are going to come down the center and on those two bands coming down the center you want to stop there for just a moment and we're going to take a single band and the single band is going to go from center over to the left center over to the left and then single band center over to the left again and then we still have one opening here, which is going to be two bands coming straight down the center. Let me hold that up for you guys to take a closer look at it. So this was two bands in the center, a single band from center to left, a single band from center to right, and then two bands to complete the center. The next thing that we have to do are our horizontal and our cap bands. For that, we're going to cap off this bottom piece right here by using a three-time cap band. And you can do it however you wish to do your cap band. I am just taking my band and wrapping it around my hook three times and then stretching it out over that bottom peg. I need to place a triangular hold horizontal band here. But it's going to be a single band that we need to double twist onto itself and then stretch out over to form that triangle right there. And the only other part that we need to do before we can start to loom is to do these two little pieces on each side. That's where we're going to be needing our hook again. And you're going to take and wrap a single band around your hook four times. So that's number one for me, twist in number, twist in number two, twist in number three, twist in number four. So now I have four bands on my hook. You want to take a single band, double twist it on your fingers, and we're going to slide that four onto that double twisted single band. Then you're going to reclaim the end of that double twisted band. And this forms kind of like a little nubby puffy type of thing. We're going to place that on the upper left portion of the gray and place that right there and just let it sort of nub out on the side. We need to do the same thing for the right side. One band four times on my hook. One, two, three, and four. A single band that I'm going to twist on my fingers and have it look like a double twist band. 
and I'm going to pull that four through and reclaim that double twist band back on my hook. And then that's going to go over here on the right side as our little nubby pointy part of our shovel. Let me show you a close up so you can take a moment to look at that. And now we're going to be ready to loom. We're going to start to loom down here at the bottom. We also need to pick up these single bands that we have here in the center. It's a little different than any of the other um, garden tools that I've made. So I'm going to reach into that single band at the bottom that's double twisted. And I'm grabbing the top two bands, which are going up towards the center. I'm reaching back into that cap band again. And I'm getting the next two bands. And those are going to go off to my right. Reach into that cap band again. The next two bands. And these are going off to my left. You want to reach into the upper center peg here. And we're going to reach in and we're going to get that first band that's on top. And we're going to take it off to our right. We're going to reach into the center band again here. We're grabbing that first band on the top. And we're going to carry it off to our left. And then we're going to grab the, we need to move down here to the left side and do the left side of our loom. Then we're going to do our right side, and then we need to come up and finish the center piece. We're not done with that center piece yet, but that needs to be the last one that we do. So I'm going to reach over here to the right, and I'm going to loom forward once. I'm going to reach over here. I'm sorry, this is my left. <laughs> I get my left and my right confused sometimes. My left, we're working on the left. Reach in and loom straight forward. Now on the left, we've reached where we've got that little nubby side, and you're going to reach in, grabbing the bottom two bands. You only want the two bands on the bottom. Wiggle those out, because it's going to be a little tight, and bring that down towards that center peg. Now we can move over to the right side. Reach into that bottom right peg, grabbing the bottom two bands, pushing back on everything else. Bottom two bands and come straight forward. Reaching in, pushing back everything, you need the bottom two bands and come up straight forward. Now we've reached our little nubby area here on the right. You want to reach in and push back everything that you see and have there on that peg and getting the bottom two bands and come over to the center. And I just had a band slip off, but that's okay. This is going to be a pretty easy fix for me. I just need to set my loom down for just a moment. My bands decided they wanted to slip out and off on me. And I'm just going to reach back in through that peg, getting those two bands and pulling them up and securing them off. So you guys didn't have that problem. So just ignore that little blooper that I had there. So now our diagonal is finished here on the right. We need to finish looming up the stem or the handle of our creation, but we need to get that one band that we didn't finish down here in the bottom. So reach into that center peg and get those two bands that are still there and loop forward once. Now we started reaching to the handle portion where there's a lot, there is a lot, a lot, a lot on this peg. You wanna push back everything that is there and you want to get the bottom two bands. You want to make sure that you're only reaching the bottom two bands, pushing back everything else, wiggling out those two bands, and looping straight forward. Now it's pretty easy, simple looping. Just reach in, grab your bottom two bands of your yellow, two bands of yellow. It's okay if it comes off the loom as it did there two bands of yellow. We're just going to continue to loop straight forward. You don't want your little pieces of three to come up through, so try to keep them down as low as possible. And now I'm reaching the black. 
and just straightforward looping. Now I've reached the end and I'm going to take and secure my dangle band on one finger, reach in through this peg here, grabbing that dangle band and pulling it out and up, place it on the hook and slip knot it over and off. Now we're ready to remove our creation. If you followed along with me before, you know I use the back of my hook or a wooden skewer to take it off. You want to be especially careful to do that in this area down here because there, where that nub was, there's a lot of tension. And in the center pieces, there is a lot of tension. So you just wanna, you don't really wanna rip it completely off the loom because you will have so much more fiddling to do at the very end. So here we have our shovel, slightly twisted, but that's okay because what we're going to do is to take our piece of wire and we're going to run our wire through the back or the toothpick that you have. I'm just using wire. We're going to run our wire through that little set of three, each one of those three bands that we had twisted on our hook. That's what I'm running this wire through. So you just wanna pick up those three bands all the way to the end. And then you reach the area where the shovel is you just want to pierce in through that shovel a little bit, stretch out your band some, so you make your handle look a little longer. At the end of the shovel, where that cat band is, just give it a little tug, and you can push and play with it a little bit. Pull on your little nubbies, pull those out some. But here we have got our garden shovel to go along with our rake and our garden hoe. If you want to continue to watch episodes of Loomville Under Construction, it will be airing very soon. I'm adding more components every day, and I'm actually going to show a video of the garden scene set up in just a little bit. So if it's not already on my channel, you can look for um, that garden scene video and see how the garden area is turning out of Loomville. And then just stay tuned for the house that will be under construction and everything else that I have going on for my new rubber band community that I'm making. Stay tuned. Post your creations on Crafty Ladybug Rainbow Loom Creations on Facebook or tag me at Crafty Ladybug on Instagram. And I also have a website that you can read and catch up on some things at www.craftyladybugcreations.com. Bye bye.